Do you guys have those rainbow donuts? The Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops donuts, yes we do. I'll be right there. We haven't done a junk cruise in a long time. Julia's really excited. I am. I haven't uh, been through a drive through in a while. There it is. It's Arby's. Wait, it's not Arby's. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh, they're coming for you, Julia. Nope, someone ate the Fruit Loop donuts. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. I don't even like donuts. You passed the Hardee's! I'm doing this for you. Uh-oh. Low-key, I want to go to Tom Hardee's. Dude, they're not even advertising it. They say try our new honey butter chicken biscuit. I kind of want that instead. You're my honey butter chicken biscuit. This video is not sponsored by Hardee's. Dude, I'm really impressed with Hardee's fries. Those tenders got me feeling a certain way. Is it good? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna just keep eating and then donuts. Uh-oh. We've never had the Fruit Loop donut before. We don't know what it tastes like. We have to get to the bottom of it. That way we can figure out what the recipe is gonna be and bring it back to our kitchen. What? Yo, is it me or does that kind of look like Play-Doh? And they look like Fruit Loops. We'll try it. That just screams Fruit Loop in flavor. These taste so good. I didn't watch anyone's full reviews. I did see a little bit of Ian e K, but I didn't want to hear what he said because then I would have had judgments. I can tell that these are fried and then frosted. I assume they all have the same flavor. Tastes kind of like blue. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go milk, guys. All right. You just put them in a bowl with a big spoon. They all taste the same. <laughs> it's got like an offensive flavor. I feel like I'm gonna like burp Fruit Loops for the next hour after that one bite. This is gonna be easy to make, I think. I hope every fast food chain decides to come out with a new sweet treat. That way I have an excuse to eat it. I love Fruit Loops. I wasn't allowed to eat it that much when I was a kid because it had too much sugar in it. And obviously too much sugar for me is a really good thing. So I don't know why they ever said that. We are back in the test kitchen. JP, here's your glasses. There they are, mini Fruit Loop donuts. It's the cereal, if you guys didn't know. Yellow six, blue one. These ingredients don't really help you figure out how to make it. We know that lemon is an ingredient. I'm gonna pour some in a little bowl and then maybe we can concoct something. This will give us some flavor. This already tastes like a Fruit Loop. I think it needs, it needs something berry. Ooh, tastes very good. I don't think people should eat extra. Ooh, yeah. It is getting there though. I think what it is is just like a mixture of all the fruits. Strawberry extract. It's working! It's working! Now that we figured it out, I'm gonna make a bigger batch of it because I'm gonna need a lot more. Looks like soy sauce. Hey, while you're sifting, do you wanna know what your unicorn name is? Mm -hmm. Take the first letter of your name and then the month you were born. Your name is Sunbeam Crystal Dazzler. That's like the dumbest name I've ever heard. Mine is Sunbeam. <laughs> Feather wind. Oh god. I can't believe your name is also Sunbeam. <laughs> we're both Sunbeams. All right, we're almost done. We're also gonna sift our sugar, baking powder. I'm just gonna attach my whisk attachment and we're gonna add the butter. We're gonna need four eggs lightly beaten. It's like JP when he's been bad. Just gonna light beat it. Now we're gonna add in our milk and egg. The Fruit Loop flavor going in. And we're gonna let this mix for a few seconds and then we're gonna take it out and knead it on the counter. Seems like a lot of work for something that didn't taste good. It smells fruity. It smells like a sugar cookie. Yes. It's red. A donut's not a donut without a hole. You're doing yellow? Yes. How you peeing? Oh. Every time you do that, all I can think of is enema. All right, stop doing that. <laughs> You should make this unicorn one, though. This is like better than slime, because I can eat this. I'm just the supportive guy in your life, sitting behind the camera, waiting for a girl to say, hey, how was your day? How was your day? It was great, I spent it with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're off to a good start. We are. The only problem I have is <gasps> that orange. For our glaze, we're whisking together confectioner sugar, milk, and our special Fruit Loop concoction. Yeah, we did it! They're done! They're beautiful. They're colorful. Yep, that's fruity. It tastes purple. Does yours taste red? Mine definitely tastes red. <laughs> wow. That it's is good. Sugary. Oh, jeez. 
three minutes, I'm gonna flip it, and then we'll do another two. Is that how long you do it? They're like Fruit Loops in oil instead of milk. Is this the best day of your life? This is the test kitchen. We've never made this before. It makes sense that we messed up. Looks like an apple. That looks like a pumpkin, not a donut. Dude, that's actually cool. You made a donut apple. We discovered something. We need to solve problems here. That's what we're doing. We're scientists. Julie's gonna press these out until they're nice and thin. We don't need as much dough as we thought. Looks like a pineapple slice. Put that on a pizza and offend everybody. This has to work. We can't have another giant apple. All right, we figured it out. It worked! Oh my goodness. We're scientists. Let's cut out these other ones and get them going. All right, we're doing surgery on the apple. Tastes like a donut. Yes, that one's beautiful. All right, this is called improvision. I don't get it. I don't get it with the trends. Why is everybody dyeing everything different colors and making everything unicorn? What's so great about it? I don't know. These millennials. Here they are. They're perfect. Kind of. It's okay. They're not perfect. They're colorful. They're rainbow. They're fruity. They're loopy. I'm loopy. Let's call the whole thing off. Wow. That is like the most satisfying thing I've ever seen. That's the one I wanted. Right? Yeah. This is a fruit blue. This is, but it does taste blue. My mind just doesn't understand the taste of color. Tastes like chemicals. Purple, purple. Green, yellow. Tastes like a fruit loop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a fruit loop. <laughs> it's so fluffy. I love how it's like the lighter color of the dough on the inside. Donuts with bites in it. Even better. You can make this at home, and you should. You ought to. It will make your day more colorful. Care to be your taste tester? Ooh, hell yeah. Holy donut. So what I want you to do is take a bite out of it and tell me if you think it tastes like Fruit Loops. Okay. Do you like donuts? I am a donut man. <laughs> <laughs> you try to eat it? I'm really awkward. Does it taste like purple? The first thing is, is the Fruit Loop, then the donut, and then goes back to Fruit Loop. It's amazing. So that's the real one. Definitely similar. <laughs> he knew where they were. <laughs> Fruit by the mile instead of by the foot. So you have 5,280 feet of... And you start rolling it. You're like halfway down North Orange with a fruit by the mile. <laughs> Thanks again for coming along. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on another episode of Healthy Junk Food. There's some related videos probably gonna pop up. Subscribe. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>